digressive shocks, twin tube shocks, pillow ball top mounts. What does this all mean and why should you know it? Well, all of these will affect the way that your suspension performs, so it's important to know exactly what you want when you're shopping for suspension. You don't want to spend hundreds or even thousands of dollars to end up with something that you're just not satisfied with. So let's take some time and go through a few different parts of coilovers and explore how they're going to affect performance and ride quality. Digressive shocks are one of three piston types and are commonly used in motorsports. This is because digressive shocks allow you to run a softer compression than a linear or progressive shock would. You're able to do this because of the digressive damping and compression curve of these shocks. It allows you to retain a high low speed compression that tapers off into a softer high speed compression. This means that your car will be able to resist any unwanted body movements caused by low speed compression while still remaining active at high speeds. Basically, this is exactly what you want if you spend a lot of time at autocross events or track days. The biggest downside of digressive shocks is that they're typically uncomfortable on the street due to having a higher low speed compression and damping and they just don't really provide any real advantage over other shock types for daily use. But what about how many tubes are in your shocks? Twin tube shocks have both an inner and outer chamber, so when the shock is under load, oil travels between the two chambers to help dampen the ride. And this is great for comfort, but since the gas and oil aren't separated like they are in a typical monotube shock, there's a possibility of the oil foaming. This happens when the shock comes under load too quickly and can lead to what is called suspension fading. Essentially what this does is make the shock softer over time as the suspension fades. Because of this, they're often found in coilovers that are typically designed to be driven on the street, where more performance oriented coilovers are typically single tube shocks since they're not prone to the issues of fading. Now pillow ball top mounts are used where the top of the shock meets the top mount. It's a metal ball that replaces the rubber that would normally be used in this location. And having a metal ball where a piece of rubber would normally be means that there's no deflection from cornering forces and that translates into better steering response and more precise steering. Pillow balls also allow for the adjustability of camber and possibly caster depending on the coilover. Because of this extra adjustability, they're fairly common today and are offered by most suspension manufacturers. The improvement in handling and adjustability does come at the sacrifice of comfort though, as the pillow ball will not absorb vibrations as rubber would and instead transmits them throughout the car. This can cause some discomfort in daily driving, especially if you're driving on rough roads regularly. So at the end of the day, it's up to you to decide if improved handling is worth the extra vibration. Most would agree that it is, but if comfort's your priority, you may want to consider other options. And that's it for today's video. Let us know what topics you want us to cover in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos.